Hey guys, welcome back to Maya's Bug. On this episode, we are going to be going through some of my bump steer problems. This thing has been plaguing me. It's been just tormenting me. I cannot get this thing figured out. Um, I'm going to show you kind of the process that I've gone through so far and kind of the findings that I've had. So first, I'm just going to show you what I started with and then where I am now and then where I'm, I plan to go. Okay, so on this steering, originally... I had it set up exactly like the Doug Bug setup. So the Doug Bug Builder, this is his uh, A-arm uh, design. I copied it pretty much exactly with the geometry, um, but I did decide to make a couple changes and that is what's ending up uh, causing me some problems. So at full droop, this steering rod gets very close to the upper A-arm. Um, I wanted to give it a little bit more margin at full droop. And so what I ended up doing was I moved uh, these brackets from the top here down an inch and a half. And the way I offset that on this side is I bought these offset uh, heim joints and these move the rod down an inch and a half or an inch. Um, so that would make my steering rod parallel with the lower A-arm and it just brings everything down an inch and a half. So I started playing with uh, this location. I cannot get this bump steer to go away. I moved this in to try to get these all in alignment. Um, I'm, I had it originally out here to try to help with the Ackerman. Um, and then on he this side over here, I had a plate set up to extend this out. I tried so many different positions here and I cannot get the bump steer to go away. So I just started thinking and thinking and thinking. Um, the one thing that I didn't account for is that this heim joint here, moving this point down, does not change this pivot location. So technically, it this rod end is really shooting straight to this one. So it's a point between here and up here, not the actual visual look of this uh, steering rod. So even though it may look parallel with the bottom the lower A-arm, it is actually angled up. So I'm not parallel with the lower A-arm. I think that's the culprit here and I'm gonna try to take that out and still keep this in the same location and I'll build something to actually drop the pivot location. Um, so like a spreader bar that comes down and it, it comes across and then down and then that will give me my pivot point will actually be lower and it'll be in line with my lower A-arm. I think that's the problem. I'm gonna try that first and see if I can get this figured out. Okay guys, so I'm gonna to try to uh, attempt to figure this out. Uh, I am no expert in steering geometry, but you know, I'm an amateur just like a lot of you guys are. If you're an expert, please let me know what I'm doing wrong here. Um, okay, so the geometry I have going on is my lower A-arm is 28.25 inches long. My upper arm is 27.4. I have 10 degrees of inclination on the outboard spindle and also on the pivot points on the inboard side where it attaches to the chassis. The steering rod is 3.5 inches up from the lower A-arm to the attach point. And I have 10 inches of spread between the two pivot points on the outside and the inside. So that makes things a little bit easier because I'm eliminating some of the factors because they are equal. The upper arm and lower arm are unequal length. The upper arm is a, a tiny bit shorter than the lower arm. So I'm trying to figure out exactly what length this tie rod needs to be in order to get a good starting point for good geometry on a bump steer. Okay, so the first thing I did is I took the lower A arm and I subtracted the upper A arm and I've got uh, 0.85 inches of difference. So that's the difference between the upper and lower A arm. The difference between the height of the tie rod compared to the lower A arm is 0.35 inches, which is 35% of 10 inches. So I multiplied 0.85 by 35% and I got 0.2975. So now what I'm going to do is I'm subtracting the 0.297 from the length of the lower A arm, which is 28.25, and I'm getting a rod length of 27.95 inches. So, in theory, 
My rod should be 27.95 inches. If I'm doing that wrong, please, you guys, comment and help me out here. I'm, I've been struggling with this, but hopefully by the end of this video, I've got something with no bump steer. And uh, that is the goal. So I'm going to try to put this into uh, effect and see if we can get this to work out. Kind of show a demonstration of what I did by accident is what I did is I moved this point down, right? So say I moved it to right here. And then what I did is I got an angled rod end that put this rod right here. So technically, this steering rod is still parallel to the lower A-arm. But these pivot points don't care what this shape is. All they care about is this line from here to here. So now, in theory, my steering rod is not parallel to my lower A-arm, so I think that's what's going on here. Okay, so here's a demonstration of kind of the bump steer that I'm dealing with, the existing geometry. So right now, I'm not gonna allow this spindle to move. So if you guys watch right here, you'll see this rack moving in and out. That is the bump steer that's going on. And all I'm doing is going up right now. So do you see that moving in and out? You can actually see the steering rod turning. So that's the bump steer I'm dealing with right now. Let's see if this angle works. So I feel like we are building this car together and I'd like to just, this is a little bit odd for me, but I'm going to send this video out onto YouTube and just ask for your guys' help and see what you guys think of kind of my math, my geometry, what I've got going on on this car right now. And uh, instead of spending a week trying to deal with it and then show you guys what I came up with, uh, I'm just going to throw it out to you guys and see if you guys have any advice. I mean, you guys have a lot of uh, experience with car builds and I just would like to see uh, kind of what you guys have to say about this. Um, so there's not going to be any building in this video. I'm sorry about that. This video is not for views. This is for you guys. I, I It's actually for me. I would love some help. Um, but if, if you guys can help me, that'd be great. Um, thank you guys so much for all your support. And thanks for watching. All right, guys. Uh, thank you in advance for any advice you guys give me. All right. Talk to you later.